I started playing volleyball in probably sixth grade. I like, grew up playing basketball because my whole family plays basketball. But then when I got to sixth grade, I was like, oh, let me try out like a new sport. And so I like started in the middle school program. And then I did the high school camp here with like Coach Daniels. Started from there. The excitement, like after every point, is the best feeling ever. A different kind of excitement from basketball. I got into basketball probably when I was about five years old. <laughs> my mom was my coach at our church. I just played from there. <laughs> I grew up in the gym, I can tell you that. <laughs> I think my mom used to have a calendar and it was like we had 30 games a month between me and my two brothers and I basically grew up in the gym at Swain Sports Academy. And TJ is about six and a half and Trevor is four years older than me. So you know they're all big, they're a lot taller than me so they knew we always made everything competition like who can sit down first at dinner or who can make the most shots in the driveway. <laughs> My dad, Rocky Shipes, he played basketball at the Masters College in California. And my mom, Laurel Shipes, she played basketball at the University of Kentucky for three years. And then her fourth year, she played basketball and volleyball at the Masters College in California. He's a trick shot artist and he jumps off trampolines, hits golf balls, but he did long drives. So he, like, he was hitting the ball like 400 yards or 500 yards. He like, goes around the country and does trick shot shows for celebrities and like outings. I used to go to his outings all the time and I felt like I was like a celebrity because like everyone's like clapping for him and I'd be like on the side and I'm like, yeah, that's my dad. <laughs> but yeah, it was exciting like having to meet all the new people and like go all those places, watch him do that. It's like a really cool thing to see. I played basketball until I saw the summer going into so sophomore year. I love Coach Jordan and he's like been my mentor since I was little, since I was like third grade. And I've always played with Tori Osmond. Leaving all the, my friends behind, it was hard to like quit and I played like travel my whole life. Leaving it behind is like a part of me, but I had like a shoulder surgery my freshman year and like after volleyball and like I took like a break for about six months and like gave me time to like think about, so like think about like what if I want to play basketball or volleyball. And so when I was like getting back into it, I like played both. I played travel, basketball and, and volleyball to see which one I liked more. And I guess like volleyball is like still in my heart. My team, I love them and like the excitement I get and like the thrill after getting a kill is like a lot different than like making a shot in basketball. There are so many things that make Tatum special. Um, you know, she's been a varsity player for four years now. I would say what really makes her stand out is that um, she's obviously dominant because she's as tall as she is and um, she's really a, a phenomenal athlete. She's very versatile. She can play back row pretty much as well as she plays front row. Um, and so a lot of people will, you know, serve the ball to her or hit the ball at her thinking, oh, you know, she's tall, she's not going to get it. But she's a very versatile player and she's just a force all the way around for us. She has always known that we've counted on her, but she's owning it now. You know, she's, she's intense out there, whether it be at practice or um, in the games. And she's got the other girls going and, you know, she's just becoming a great leader for us. I've been committed for almost three years now and like that's crazy because like basketball commits like so late. Well Beeford here is like a really small town and like everyone knows each other. We have like a love for our sports. I spend the whole weekend at Auburn and like my coaches spent like every meal with me. Like we talked that whole entire weekend all three days and Auburn's kind of like a sm small town too. Like they love their football, love their basketball, all sports and I feel like it was like the same thing like Beeford and I love Beeford and it's like home to me and so I felt like I like Auburn just like felt like home that whole weekend. I think she'll thrive there. I've seen such a huge growth in her from last year to this year. Um, it's been really fun watching her mature over the past four years, but this year in particular, she's really taking ownership of the team. She's emerging as a leader, um, and she's ready. I mean, she's ready to go, and I think she'll have a huge impact at Auburn. She, she's like one of my kids. These seniors are a real special group to me because I've coached them either three or four years. You know, I remember when she was in eighth grade and said to my husband, if I don't win a state championship for at least two of the years she's here, you know, um, then there's something wrong with me. But, you know, she's up here now and, um, you know, hopefully we're, we'll be playing for our third at the end of the season. Now I'm a captain and I like have to fill a role because Gabby and Morgan left and they've always been big leaders on the court, like vocally and like with what they do on the court. And it's like really different, like being out there with them because like we all have to like step up this year because like we, we've been here since freshman year. And it's like a whole new feeling when you're on the court, like you have control and everything. And like I know us seniors are like, wow, this is like our senior year. 
we need to step it up and to win state again. I mean, to repeat winning region, repeat winning Gwinnett County, basically what we've been doing since freshman year.